welcome to the IREB CPRE learning module. I am Ellen Mishra. I will be the faculty for this entire set of modules. So let's begin with a little bit about the company that I work with. I work uh, with an organization named Adaptive Processes. Um, Adaptive Processes is one of the world's first integrated requirements engineering solutions organization. As an organization, we provide requirements management products, requirements management training, and requirements management consulting. Got close to 100 plus years of uh, consulting experience, then 200 plus clients across the globe, more than 10 Fortune 500 clients, and uh, we have conducted more than 200 requirements engineering workshops in India, US, Thailand, Philippines, and we do uh, lots of workshops on classroom model as well as uh, online model. And we've got 10 plus international partners. As you see, we are a partner to International Institute of Business Analysis Canada, uh, which is one of the world's most leading body on business analysis. We are also a partner to IREB Germany, International Requirements Engineering Board Germany, from which this CPRE course is affiliated to. Now, we are also affiliated to Scrum Study USA and Open RE Foundation. Uh, we have got many awards uh, as an organization. We have been Red Herring Asia Award winner for 2014 and 2015. Uh, we are also a Deloitte Technology First 50 Award winner for 2013. Uh, we are an ISO 9001-2008 certified company and as well as a member of NASCOM. So these are some of our esteemed clients. If you see uh, they include uh, companies like uh, Hewlett Packard, SAP, NEC, Fujitsu, Unisys, Axonobel, and uh, many others. Uh, in fact, we as an organization also are doing requirements engineering and business analysis consulting with clients like Axonobel, Robert Boss, then Zenith, and then uh, many other clients where we are doing requirements engineering related work. So in this particular module, what we are going to do, we are going to do a faculty introduction. Then we will talk a little bit about the program itself. So what is CPRE? What does it involve? What is the educational qualifications that you need? How does the exam happen? All that part we will cover in CPRE FL. So let me do a quick intro about myself. As I told, my name is Ellen Mishra. I have been a practicing requirements analyst and engineer for close to 17 years now. I started my career with an organization called uh, Center for Development of Telematics, uh, which is into telecom software and hardware development. Uh, then I did my master's program in management from IIM Ahmedabad. Uh, after that, I worked with uh, a consulting firm named PricewaterhouseCoopers, where I was involved in a large uh, organizational change management uh, program. There I got exposed to software development and how software can help uh, clients and in that process I got very interested in understanding softwares and all. In fact, uh, one of my key contribution during the project where I worked in PwC was to develop a billing system for one of our large uh, uh, electricity board client and which helped them to improve their revenue almost close to 15 to 20 percent without doing anything extra. So that's an interesting story that I will tell you sometime during the program. After PwC, I spent about four years in Infosys, mostly doing enterprise resource planning, ERP product implementations. So I served uh, clients in United States of America, uh, Spain, Germany, and UK. And then later on, uh, I co-founded uh, Adaptive Processes, and we have been uh, in business for close to 10 years now. Uh, we are developing and deploying a product called uh, GRC Perfect, Enterprise Governance, Risk and Compliance Management Perfect, uh, which is also sold to few clients like Nippon Electric, Petroleum Development, Oman, Zenith, Cross Domain, and many others. And uh, recently we also launched it on our cloud platform, Microsoft Azure. And I also serve as a existing uh, or an assisting uh, business analyst and requirements engineer uh, with a client named Axonobel, which is uh, the world's largest paint manufacturing company. So I have completed many certifications. So I am a CPRE certified professional from IIB Germany. I am also a CBAP from IIM, uh, IIBA Canada uh, and a CSM from uh, Scrum Alliance. So 
So let's see what this program will cover. So one, we would start with basic concepts of RE. We do not expect you to have any knowledge of RE to attend this course. So please feel uh, relaxed and uh, there is nothing to worry. We will start from very basics of RE and then we will go forward. So this is a basic to intermediate course. It's not an advanced course. So we are not going to get into too much detail about modeling and all because that is covered in advanced level program. We will also talk about important skills that uh, uh, requirements engineers need to know. So we will cover all that. Then we will cover a lot about requirements development because this is one of the very key pieces of uh, understanding uh, how requirements are developed. So I would request you to pay good attention to this particular knowledge area because this would be uh, determining whether you are a good requirements engineer or not a good requirements engineer. Uh, we will also introduce you IT skills for requirements engineer. So we will be dealing with UML to some extent, uh, but this is not an advanced program on UML, which is also not required for the program. Uh, we will be teaching a little bit about UML, which I think some of you might have heard. Uh, UML stands for Unified Modeling Language, uh, which is from Open Group. We will also talk about requirements management. That means once requirements are developed or gathered, how do we manage them over the life cycle of requirements? So we will cover about that. And then we will also cover a little bit about uh, how to take CPRE examination. So we are going to touch upon few questions in every module to give you a flavor of what kind of questions you may get in CPRE examination. Now let's come to the CPRE FL program. So CPRE stands for Certified Professional in Requirements Engineering. So the moment you complete this program and get certified, worldwide you are recognized as a professional who can practice requirements engineering. This program is tailored towards FL, which stands for Foundation Level. And this is essential if you want to do advanced level or expert level programs later. And this is provided uh, by a body named uh, International Requirements Engineering Board, which is located in Germany. Uh, their website is irb.org. So if you go there, you will find a lot of interesting information about requirements engineering. IRB also publishes a newsletter on uh, requirements engineering, which you may find interesting to uh, subscribe to and uh, read. Uh, so let me talk a little bit about why should you get uh, certified? Uh, because uh, certification does involve some amount of money and also involves a lot of practice more than the money part uh, the practice is extremely vital so let me take an example of you going to a shop and trying to buy a shirt or a trouser so most often would you not look at the label of the product like whether it is from Louis Philippe or it is from Van Hussen or it is from Park Avenue uh, so you would typically look at the brand of the product so why do we look at the brand of the product? It's mainly because when we look at a brand, we understand that the product has certain inherent quality. So we have a confidence that a product which is coming from a particular brand has certain quality aspects done and hence we can trust the product. Similarly, exactly the same way companies also are looking for employees or partners to work with them. So they need a qualified requirements engineer or a proficient requirements engineer. Let me put it that way. So they have an option that they can invite you for a test uh, and interview. But it becomes expensive for the organization because to maybe recruit five requirements engineers, maybe they have to do 100 tests and 50 interviews, which is a lot of money being spent in finding a right person. If you are a CPRE, it proves the fact that you know the basic concepts of requirements engineering. So it becomes easy for the organization to hire you. And in fact, I will tell you, I have in person seen people whose salaries have increased anywhere between 50% to 100% by completing the certification program. So trust me, if you are qualified, you are going to get better opportunities in the market. That is one. Two, 
I also believe and I have experienced personally when you go for a certification you of course learn the subject quite well. So you are investing about 100-120 hours of your time in learning a new subject or maybe you know the subject but you don't know it formally. So that also enhances your capabilities as a professional. So there are two advantages. One, you would obviously find a better career opportunity. Two, you will also be able to do your work well, so which is even more essential than just getting certified. So some of the common benefits that we actually have seen with our uh, past participants and uh, candidates. One, you get better job prospects, especially for people who do not have any experience, this could be a boon. You want a job to be a business analyst or a requirements engineer and obviously nobody is going to hire you because you don't have experience. Whereas once you get a professional degree provided by an internationally recognized body, people do understand that you are serious about this particular business and you have basic understanding. So that itself would help you to land in a particular job. For people who are already in job, there's no doubt you will see a better salary for yourself. Then you get a recognition for your RE competency. The good part about IREB CPRE is it is for life. That means once you are a CPRE, you are always a CPRE. There is no question of the certificate being revoked or anything like that. So as I said, even you will get better career opportunities. So if you are in testing or some other areas of IT from where you would like to move into requirements engineering or business analysis, be it development, be it testing, you will find better opportunities. In, even if you are a project manager, I would still strongly suggest that you look at this particular certification program because it enhances your portfolio. So in future, many people are going to do multiple roles. You are going to play the role of a BA, you are going to play the role of an RE, you are going to play the role of a tester. So the more you know about different aspects, the better for you. And this could be a stepping stone for a business analyst profession because most junior business analysts tend to spend more time in requirements engineering than in enterprise analysis.